a member of the National Executive Committee of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, OK, Moaro, has said the election of a new crop of party national working committee at the October 30 and 31, 2021 convention will not truncate the tenor of the party's suspended national chairman, Prince Uche Sekundus. Now, in an interview with newsman Mo Aro, who is a founding member of the party from the southeast, said that the party would use its internal mechanisms to ensure that the current National Working Committee completes its tenure of four years in December. He added that the position of the chairman has been zoned out of the south-south. It means that he can't offer himself for re-election. Well, to break this down, we have joining us the Deputy Publicity Secretary of the People's Democratic Party, Diron Odeyemi. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Odeyemi, for joining us. Mr. Diron, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Great. Help us break down this um, issue of Prince Uche Sekundus still being the party chairman till December, when your national uh, convention is on October 30 and 31. Um, isn't that supposed to be a time where you hand over? Uh, and besides, if, even if it's, there's a change in plans, what's the hurry with the national convention? Why can't we wait till December? And then, of course, allow the tenure to be over, and then the proper handing over takes place. I want to... Uh, yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Constitutionally, the administration of this time ends on the 9th of December. Even though we'll be having the convention on the 29th at the edge, we are yet to know the format is going to take. Maybe the new executive NWC members will take over immediately or that... Go ahead. Or that they are going to wait until after the expiration of this administration. We are yet to know that. All that we know is that there's going to be an election on the 29th, so 38th. So this after the swearing, we don't know if they are going to wait or they are going to ask them to assume office immediately. But whichever is the case, as a party man, we believe the time between October and December are so small. We may not be able to drag it, but that is left to secondaries to determine, not we members of the party or national officer. Well... Let me directly quote Prince Uche Sakandus because he's really spoken about the fact that he's not withdrawing his case um, that is in court. He said he has no intention of withdrawing his case in court, um, which is that case is, of course, challenging his removal. Um, his media advisor, Ike Aboni, uh, disclosed this in a statement um, in the FCT. Uh, he said that Secondus was in court to seek justice as well as save the party from manipulations. And now, going back to what you said as the opening, it sounds to me like the PDP does not necessarily have a plan going forward because you're telling me in October, today is October 19, tomorrow is 20. So you have a couple of days, what am I saying, 10 days before the 30th and the 31st. And you're saying you don't know what format it's going to take. What message is the PDP passing to the public? Can you hear me? Mr. Dayemi, can you hear me? I can't hear you. All right. I can't hear you, please. I will ask the question again. Hello? I just I just read to you a statement from um, Uche Sekundus is a spokesperson saying that he's not going to withdraw his case in court. He's challenging his removal and he's trying to stop the PDP from manipulations. Now, you have started by saying that you're not certain what you know, things are going to happen after the convention if the new committee will take over immediately or they'll wait till December. So I'm asking... Does this not have all shades of unpreparedness or uh, indecisiveness written all over it for the PDP? And how should the, the, the country be perceiving this? It's quite unfortunate that we find ourselves in this mess. It's a real mess that uh, we, have, we still have to see that and see how we are going to clear it. In an ideal situation and constitutionally, the terms of this uh, administration ends on the 9th. If the election is taking place on the 38th, which has never happened before, this is the first time it's happened, we will still wait on the leadership of the party 
on what they are going to do with the differences in the date of election. And Who's the leadership of the party? The leadership of the party is obviously the chairman, which you have somewhat ousted. And then the new leadership I, that is supposed to take place does not even know it's left from its right. And you, the members of the party, do not even know what decisions they're supposed to take. So what leadership are you referring to? We well, are referring to the highest body, highest uh, decision maker of the party. That is the National Executive Council. Because okay. they are still going to have a meeting that will involve all the leaders, the governors, senators, past and present, where all these things will be ironed out. And that is why I say, in, in, in politics, you continue to meet and you continue to dialogue until you are able to reach that applicable way of resolving issues. We know we are in a quagmire now because of the differences in time, but that does not mean that we do not see that and resolve it. Whether the people who are going to uh, be the members of the night of the new NEC will take over immediately, or they are going to wait until December 9th. It's just a it's just a, uh, the, uh, it's just a difference in time. Mm. Not that we disagree about the conduct of the election or whatever. So it is the time lag. And what I'm saying in essence is it depends on the resolution of the National Executive Council, of which we involve everybody. So we continue to take decisions. Uh, are you still there? Yes, I'm here. I want to ask, are there really manipulations in the PDP? Is there the hand of Issa and the voice of Jacob at play in the People's Democratic Party? Being that, there are so many strong men and, and, and of course, different interests and many followers. Um, could that also be the reason why you said that this, is not, this has never happened before in terms of uh, the, when a tenure should expire and when the convention should happen? This is the first of its kind. Is this not in any way laying um, some, some, or rather giving credence to what your ousted chairman is making reference to? Okay, the best way to answer it is that what we are playing in politics, uh, what we are doing in PDP is pure politics. You agree with me that there are interests, personal interests and group interests, either present or in the future, that is towards 2023. Mm -hmm. And these interests are playing out. Nobody is neutral. Everybody has one interest or the other in the candidate or in what goes on. Mm -hmm. So what we are doing is not manipulation, it's pure politics. Politics of interest. Politics as a gay. And politics as a member of the same family. So what is going on is pure politics and not manipulation. Let's talk about the issue of zoning quickly because we're wrapping this up. Um, a, a, a party stalwart has said that um, the PDP should not be focusing its attention on zoning right now, but building the party to be strong enough to be able to stand against the opposition, which is the ruling party, come 2023. But of course, the issue of zoning, can it be totally jettisoned, especially because the PDP has followed it strictly for a long time? Uh, do you agree with that senior stalwart in your party saying that the most important thing is building the internal dynamics of the party other than thinking about zoning? I can hardly hear the question. I'm asking, what do you prioritize now as, as a PDP? Building your party to be strong enough to deal with the APC in 2023 or zoning? Hello? Can you hear me? I just, I'm going to ask the question one more time. Hopefully you can hear me. What do you prioritize in the PDP now? Is it zoning or building up your party to be strong enough to deal with the APC come 2023? Ah, I think that we have lost you. Well, thank you very much. Diron Deyemi is the Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the People's Democratic Party. We apologize for the connection issues. We'll take a quick break and find out what Nigerians have to say about solving insecurity challenges in Nigeria. And when we return, I'll be saying my goodbyes. I sincerely feel with God's mercy on us, he will be able to do that. But Mohammed Buhari cannot do it alone due to the system of uh, politics that we practice in Nigeria. He has to present his cases to the Senate, House of Rep, and down it goes like that. Then different parastatals, different committees, 
an understanding of the people is what matters. Because Nigeria is a multi-ethnic group, a society that is too multifarious as far as tribes are concerned. But our orientation, our sensitization, our belief and understanding has not been helping the system. So Buhari is not a one to do it. He only has to have people of like minds together with him that has the faith of the country and the faith of God in him. In the case of insecurity, there is a lot of um, fallacies about information concerning the security. If Buhari appoints and the people that are appointed with Nigerian factor, you know what I mean by Nigerian factor? Sentimentalities are put into many things, lack of uh, belief and trust in the governed and the governors, in the administrators, in the people that we are in our followers, is not there. If during this period we can all keep our faith in one and trust in God, I think it will be better for our president and his executives to find solutions to the problem of insecurity and ethnic diversification, or ethnic problem in Nigeria. I don't think so. I don't think he can solve the ethnic issue because based on Nigeria, we, we. Because, and the, the people in the other ethnics are like, they are already on their own. No matter what he's saying, he hasn't done anything about it for such a long time. But doing anything now, we not solve anything. So as for me, I don't think anything can solve the ethnic issues in Nigeria, apart from prayer. Well, I, I believe so. He, he can. He can if he has um, if he has if he have um, people around him. Yes, I do believe that the president can solve it. The reason being be, be my 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 yes is, I believe as a retired military man, he has the experience. But because of the juntas who do not want him to succeed from the onset, the are one that are behind this. I believe that if if all, all uh, former head of state and um, security apparatus are well equipped as he has been doing recently now. I believe this insecurity in this nation can be solved. I want to thank you all for being part of the conversation. And uh, don't forget, you can watch a replay of the show on our YouTube, which is Plus TV Africa or Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. My name is Mary Anacone. Enjoy the rest of our programs.